How long have you been waiting in this line? Red. 15, 20 minutes now. At Bojangles. We're, we're doing a lot for the sake yeah, of science here. We are. Just, Maybe the wait is so we can let the Mount Dew digest right. We've we already to cleansed the palate. Cleansed the, the palate, palate. Yes. That's a good point. All right, All right uh, so we waited, uh, what, like three hours? At Days. Bojangles? Days. Days. For our weight, we got a large instead of a medium. I don't think that makes up for it. But, uh, this is uh, Southern Shock, exclusively at, uh, as the French like to say, Bohangeles. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Oh, yes. All right, Southern Shock taste. Here we go. This is a punch flavor. Punch, what do you think? What do you think, Red? It's almost like Code Red mixed with... You're right, I am getting a little Code Red. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. It's punchy, mm -hmm. a little bit, but it is very similar to Code Red. Uh, what about emotion? What emotion are we getting? Um, one is frustration, because we waited like four yeah. hours for this. I don't know. I don't know the emotion I'm getting. Kind of, kind of neutral. I mean, it's Mountain Dew. Yeah. But I don't know. It's like you have a bad day, like wearing wine. This is what you get. <laughs> what do you think with presentation? The weight doesn't help. No. It doesn't. The weight did not help. The color, orange, right? Is this yeah. confusing with live wine a little bit? It is. If you told me that was live wine, I would believe you. That is true. The, the Baja uh, Punch. But that was Baja yeah, Punch. Yeah, yeah. That gave me the punchiness. Yeah. But this is a different kind of punch. Is this Southern Punch? Is that what we're going it for? It is. Here? Southern Shock. I don't understand, really. Other than Mountain Dew being yeah. just extreme. It just tastes like Mountain Dew Punch. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait in line at all for this, actually. It just depends what mood you're in. <laughs> if I have nothing else to yeah. do, like us today. Like waiting in line. <laughs> Ironically, as we were going through, I should have been videoing. The guy was telling an entire story <laughs> about the turtle, about his turtle, and how he didn't feed it, and then it was looking at him, and then he gave us our drink, and we never found out <laughs> what happened. I don't know if the turtle tried to murder him. <laughs> we will never know what happened to the turtle story. I'm not, I'm not loving it. Bojangles probably needs a little like, shock, a little like juice, marketing, to marketing. It's not gonna work on me. I mean, this is not. I'm not gonna go to Bojangles just for this. Yeah. How do you think this pairs with fried chicken? It might have done nicely. <laughs> I mean, I think most people at Bojangles are getting iced tea, because even the cup, the cup says legendary iced tea. I guess it's even iced tea. Then you just flip it, flip it around. Pepsi, right there. <laughs> just confusing. They're not even all in on this no. Bob, on all this Mountain Dew stuff. So, no. not feeling that. Uh, Southern Shock. So I would put Sweet Lightning high. I really like that one. Yeah. You put would put Monsoon Berry. High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit, but and I would put this one last. Would you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. Like it's, I, it's, it's like in the middle. Would you? Would you have this if it was this or regular Mountain Dew? Regular Mountain Dew. Me too. Sorry, Bo Bojangles. <laughs> it's weird. My whole like, mouth tastes like weird different flavors now. <laughs> It sounds like rainbows. Think, it's like a wine tasting. You know, it's like all the little, different flavors. I, I just keep tasting my mouth. You're supposed to spit it back in the cup. But I don't think I can finish it. 